Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to Terminal 2 here at Heathrow. Today we're going to be flying on Lufthansa over to Frankfurt with an onward connection to Miami. We're going to find out what it's like to connect in Frankfurt these days, we've got about an hour and 40. Hopefully we make it, hopefully our bags do as well. We've had a great start so far, we arrived here at 3am, as check-in opened at about quarter past three. We were queued for 90 minutes to check our bags in, which was painful. So having arrived three and a half hours before the flight, we got through with about an hour left to go. Just had our breakfast over in Lyon, and now we're waiting to board the flight, which is behind me. Back to when we arrived here then, and passengers flying on Lufthansa Group owned airlines, in economy anyway, use zone B to check in. We were shuffled into some sort of pre-queue, despite us not yet having our boarding passes. In the queue were multiple flights for different flight times, and check-in actually ended up opening around two and a half hours before departure, even though we were asked to get there three hours before on the email. Eventually then, around 4am, we made our way into the actual check-in queue. Step one involved retrieving our boarding passes, and our bag tags, which we had to do whilst the queue behind us moving in front of us. Now, just an FYI, we tried to check in online and I received my boarding pass, but you know what it means when you're flying to the US and you get requested for your documents to be checked at the airport? Well, you guessed it, it's the four S's. These boarding passes cannot be issued electronically, only physically, which means longer queues for us today. Finally, at 4.45 a.m., 90 minutes after we arrived, we reached the front of queue number three. To drop our bags, where despite our COVID documents having already been checked and verified online, they were checked again. Now, I should mention this is the first of three flights we'll be taking today, and we've booked three tickets to Frankfurt, Miami, and on to Lima. Will these be checked through to Lima? Will we have to collect them in Miami and then recheck them in? Uh, yeah, you'll have to collect it in uh, Miami okay. for customs clearance. Yeah. Once our bags were scanned into the system, the Lufthansa app popped up quite helpfully and advised that our bags had been entered into the system and were tracking. Pretty good, I thought, actually. Now, if you're fussy about a flimsy boarding pass, you could do what Morven did and ask for a card one to be reissued so you can keep it later as a souvenir. Right then, let's get through security and on our way. A17 and we're in group three. Having heard this year's baggage horror stories, we've added air tags to our luggage. And so far, so good. They look to be on the plane just before we are. At the time of flying, August 2022, masks were still a requirement on board flights to and from Germany. We're on board a five-year-old A320neo and we're in seats 8A and B which is right behind the business class cabin with this annoying curtain. It has a great view of the engine and wing though, which is a major plus. Looking at the seat then, and legroom is cracking actually for an hour's flight. There's a pocket should you need it and a fairly sturdy and fairly good sized movable table. As always, there's the air vent on A320s, which were much appreciated on this warm flight. For couples, you'll be pleased that the armrest reclines fully so you can stretch out and the seat reclines a little too. Come back. Lufthansa provide the compulsory safety card which you should definitely check out and a sick bag which I would recommend you don't. Let's taxi out then to runway 27 left, passing Concorde as we go and get on our way as Heathrow's sixth departure of the day. Today's flight will last just over an hour as we cover just under 700 kilometers. We'll hit 37,000 feet and a top speed of 468 knots or 886 kilometers an hour 
or 538 miles per hour. With this sweeping left turn to head southeast, we've got some gorgeous early morning sunshine with views over Heathrow and shortly after views of Croydon and London in the distance. Can you name this bridge? Let me know down in the comments. Now I certainly wasn't expecting any service on this flight, but in the climb out the crew handed out these small bottles of water, which were pretty well appreciated. We were treated to further clear skies as we entered the English Channel, and then further treated to these small Lufthansa branded milk chocolates just before we started our descent. As you can gather, this was a really short and uneventful flight, and as we start our descent now, our minds are turning towards that tight connection onwards to Miami and the 747-8 that we'll hopefully be riding next. Approaching a gloomy Frankfurt from the east, we passed alongside much of the airport before touching down on runway 25 right. Good news, we've landed on time. Bad news, we've landed on the furthest possible runway away from the airport. We're going through the entire airport on the way in. It's now just approaching nine o'clock, five minutes until we're due to be at the gate. So hopefully we should make our connection onto Miami and onto the 747-8. That's our next flight getting loaded as we taxi past. After a 12 minute taxi, we arrived on stand exactly as scheduled and giving us one hour and 35 minutes until our next flights would push back and for us and our bags to travel the one and a half kilometers between gates. In a stroke of luck we've arrived at a gate that will deposit us straight into the terminal via a jet bridge without any need to pass through customs or immigration. We're straight into the very busy departure lounge into gate B46. Next job let's find our gates. Following the signs for connecting flights and after two minutes of fast paced walking, we get to the flight information screen. It's now we realise we need to get a bus to our gate that's Z25. Bus. Cool. Let's follow that big arrow then. We end up having to make a right turn, going down a staircase and then joining what looks like a pretty big queue for the bus. Rather amazingly, all these people got onto one bus and we didn't have to wait any longer than 10 minutes. The bus ride took five and then we were dropped off at gate A8 for some more stairs and some more walking. Eventually, after some help from the moving walkways, we made it. We made it to the gates just before boarding started. International to international connections then at Frankfurt are possible on a short connection time, but you'll need to get very, very lucky and I feel like we did today. Our bags even made the connection too. Don't forget to subscribe and see the next flight on this trip, all the way to Miami on this Queen of the Skies. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.